Salta, salta, gente, salta, gente, salta. Let's <laughs> try to kill me. <laughs> me my not professional shoes and my not professional sticks for example I have a filter now and if I want I, I could try this water because it's relatively clean and I could uh, I have an, a bee in my in my finger so uh, you know I hope this uh, this place is really remote, Valle Pietra is the city, the town, the small town and uh, I hope I will find somewhere where to sleep, it's very very cold today guys uh, let's see what happens so guys, if you find yourself in a um, rock valley in this beautiful place there's a river there a torrent, whatever and you find, you know yourself to have a, a banana don't just eat the banana guys you should eat it with this with some herbs you know you eat them like this so that uh, it, it tastes uh, you know, like this with a bit of banana you take another piece this has um, it's one of maybe 10 herbs that I you know that is uh, edible and you know uh, since the banana is very very um, sweet you know you can have uh, you can use it you know or even this one guys this one with three leaves where is it here you go uh, just let me see where the lance is here it is guys this guy here if you see it uh, you can uh, eat this Trifoglio This one is good for you And this one is also a bit bitter But it's, you know, it's edible Of course, if you find yourself to be in a cage like in Central Park for example Do not eat this of course you know? But if you are like this, you know In the rock valley where nobody is here I just washed myself here guys unbelievable very clean and uh, I also filled my bottle of water uh, here so luckily it's not uh, raining because it will be held really and the sun is is, is uh, coming up and uh, and so I will see if this uh, and also this guys look this one here <coughs> this one here is the the beautiful rosa canina there are some bugs fighting over this but I I will steal some petals from the bugs well, this also as you can see is edible and the effect as you can see are powerful <laughs> I'm finding I'm finding also lots of uh, this kind of animal here. <laughs> it's uh, which is really it's, they are very small, you know, but they are very very tasty. Uh, might 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 be uh, um, wild strawberry, I guess. So here we go, guys. Uh, uh, this time also went well. Look at the ceiling here. You know, this is just a. Uh, a room that uh, uh, the, the priest of this town gave me for free for, for tonight. I have, as usual, electricity and uh, all the good stuff, you know, to charge my phone and sockets, whatever. And, uh, and luckily, guys, which is uh, something that's very important. Uh, first of all, there is something, man, when, when you can tell... Uh, if someone is a reptilian or not, a reptilian. When I when I say a reptilian, guys, I, I see people uh, here in Italy, especially guys. Most of them are possessed, in my opinion, and you can tell, you know, just right away by the look, 
by how the, the first impression I already can tell you know if I'm dealing with a human being and this guy just that's just the first you know sight I could tell you know and uh, and so he gave me luck with uh, mattress mattress how do you say and and this is very comfortable guys um, of course I will put it here in the in this desk here and look this is uh, you know some type of uh, cloth that I, I, I don't know how you say it in English which you know it's like this they use it in the church you know to when they have a one of their parties, whatever, and there are different colors, guys. So I can, you know, there is, there is yellow if I want, or, or blue. There is also this creepy thing here, but whatever. Man. Um, so, so the, the plan is this: uh, there's uh, this priest also prints uh, photographies, from what I can see. And uh, there is a possibility. There was a possibility to make fire here, but uh, unfortunately. He has used this place as a, it's a bit of a mess, you know. He has used it, the fireplace, to put things he doesn't know where they belong. So, uh, you know, man, it, may, it makes a huge difference to have a roof over your head, guys. <laughs> I've seen it in this uh, crazy summer that we have, you know, which is very cold. And uh, it looks like every, everywhere around the world it's like this. So what I will do is, I will uh, simply put the, the mattress here, you know, and, uh, and, I, and I don't want to bother you with this technicalities, you know. So I, I just wanted to say, because it was very important, uh, the meeting with uh, the guy, you know, where I stayed for two nights. And it's very rare, guys, that someone uh, lets you, uh, helps you for more than one day. After one day, you begin to, to become... Uh, a burden, of course, you know, because, come on, he, and, and I can understand that, but it's very rare during my walks, you know, to, to have found someone that uh, has uh, let me sleep in their place, you know, and eating and all and everything, and not only that, let me tell you, uh, so this guy, you know, uh, you know, uh, one is very suspicious, guys, because this was the priest, you know, and he had uh, many, usually male, you know, that end up, you know, as drug addicts or had problems, you know. And, uh, and and I was saying to myself, is this guy a homo or something? How come? Because it's very friendly, you know, and uh, it, it, it just, you know, it, it just uh, totally, you do not expect it, you know. And he doesn't look uh, as a priest, you know, but then when he has, you know, to make the prayers and uh, what they do, you know, uh, you can see he's a great priest, you know. But, uh, and so it, it, it's just uh, amazing, guys, how uh, it reminded me, and, and I told him a bit, you know, uh, of... Uh, there's a, uh, a Baptist uh, preacher in uh, in Florida uh, called uh, uh, if I can remember the name uh, I, I'm not remembering the, the name uh, right now it's very famous it's on YouTube uh, this guy uh, the Dinosaur land, you know, the guy, you know, that uh, says, you know, that we believe the Bible to be uh, literally true. God literally uh, built this place in six days and, uh, and Earth is not more than 6,000 years old, something like that. So, uh, so you know, with this community, he, uh, you know, has people that uh, sleep in this place and help at the same time, you know, to keep this place alive. And uh, and, and it's amazing, man, when uh, you have minds, you know, that are working for your place, you know, they work, you know, they give 100%, you know, because they are working for something which is theirs, you know. And, and it's amazing. They, they will do all kinds of jobs, you know, even uh, 
like a sound a technician, electrician, uh, and all kinds of other. They were very smart, you know. Especially two of them, two guys in, in that community were very, very. And, and when they told the story about the, the, uh, convincing their family to go with this guy, you know, with this priest, which looked like like a like a hippie, you know, <laughs> with all the strange hairs and everything. But again, uh, the appearance always uh, deceive you, you know. Uh, and uh, it was amazing. I have nothing to say. But I told him what I have. Uh, the only problem I have with uh, so so the, the thing is this, guys. Priests here in Italy are of course Catholics, uh, and he explained me this. Do not there's people coming. So there is uh, here. Stop. Non c'è problema, prego. So there was a woman uh, going to the priest, a woman to the priest, but he called him dumb. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's not investigate on this. Uh, you know, and, and this is a problem with the Catholics guys. They made them uh, celibate. They do not have to marry. So what you can you, you can do? You, you are programmed to to go with the other sex, you know. And what they do, you know, they might do things like this. Maybe <laughs> this woman. I, I don't want to uh, insinuate. So, and this is a problem with Catholics guys. They have lots of usance. Uh, how do you say? ways of uh, delivering this, of conducting their religion, which, which are very, very suspicious guys. But the thing is this, if you tell them, for example, uh, when you do the rosary, rosary, it's repetitive, it's like an hypnosis, and you are praying to Mary, which is a, a, a mere human, not God, you know? And there is many other things, you know, that the fact that they have changed the Bible and and lots of other things that I do not agree. But you can tell, for example, that people are using a tool which is invent, has been invented by people higher than them. They use it without thinking what they are doing. They think, you know, that they are communicating with God by praying and whatever, you know. But uh, they might do it uh, without bad intent, but they don't realize it. So, uh, but at some point, we, uh, if we ever, because now Catholic guys, as I've heard, you know, they have tension between, inside them. They know that there is a higher power, you know, that doesn't let this individual priest, for example, to take their own direction, you know, because they would see things that they do not like, they would just, you know, uh, remove uh, the authority, the uh, the practice of being a priest to, to this small priest, for example. And so, they have to obey and to f follow their, their orders. So, but as I've said, as I've seen now, uh, from years now of doing these walks, many priests, I can tell, you know, that there are good people, a few of them, that are, that are not just robots. Many of them, 99% of my opinion, do, do have no idea what they are doing with their liturgy and with all their way of praying or whatever. They do not realize that what they give the, the hostia, you know, that the biscuit that they give them. It's just, you know, the sun, you know, represents the sun. Or the cross that they have all around has the rays of the sun. So they are praying Lucifer, you know, the sun. But they do not realize it, most of them, in my opinion. But people higher up know this very well. So, what what counts, guys, is uh, the uh, the fruits. You can see, for example, a priest. Uh, in this walk, it, it, I had a priest that let me slept in the cold with the rain in the bus stop. 
And then I have guys, you know, like uh, like this, for example, or like uh, the guy, you know, that I was talking about in that community, that let me sleep and eat for free for two days. And then when, when I left him today, guys, he took the car, took me in a higher uh, position in the mountain so that I could, uh, you know, it, it helped me a lot, you know, because I just had to walk um, to come here. Uh, all, almost go, always go down. Uh, and he gave me money, guys, 20 euros. So I just want to say it publicly. If uh, because I, I also give these guys uh, my YouTube channel, if they see it, uh, know that uh, uh, Roberto gave me 20 euros when he left me. So not only he invited me for two days, guys, and uh, you know, man, I, I'm telling all this not because you know, uh, I'm just telling because. You know, this is this is the only way we have, guys, to uh, to to beat the system. We we should uh, join together as a community, guys, and uh, and it's and it's harder for them to to contrast us in that way. That's why they are saying to us, you know, to put the mask and stay away from each other and everything, you know. So that's why I'm doing this video, uh, saying all the good things that happen in this walk, you know. Because uh, for me, th these are important, you know. And it's not enough that uh, the fact that he gave me mine. Uh, he gave me other things, gave me food, gave me a place where to sleep, uh, talked with me. He uh, sit down and, and listen to my story, guys. How come, I, how I found, you know, how I became from an atheist, total, you know, as the usual zombies, you know. And then I realized that you know, there is a creator here, you know, there's a God. And I told him his story, and he was very patient to, to listen to me. He left all of them and just was listening to me, you know, and gave me also lots of uh, uh, advice, you know. Uh, so, sorry for being so long, guys. Uh, I, I, I just wanted to say this because the intent of doing these videos and, and these walks, guys, is because you, you come across so many uh, realities and uh, th that, uh, that are uh, worth sharing. So, so this guy was the uh, the last stop that I had in this walk. It, it was Yen, the other uh, the other place where the other priest gave me ten euros, man, unbelievable. And uh, and after this, really, you know, I had plan, you know, to make this uh, walk, you know, long as the uh, the previous one. But I don't want to bore, bore you with this, but uh, I have to see now how this place is, uh, is if there is any possibility to stay here. So it all depends tomorrow if I will be able to find someone to talk to. And, uh, and, and I also want to add, guys, that when I was coming here, uh, there was a, a, a woman named Barbara that was very friendly. She was walking on uh, on her garden, uh, in, just in the mountain outside of this town, and she took the car and took me here, which was a bit uh, high, you know. And uh, she was very friendly and told me everything about the town and how should I move to get, you know, where is the priest, where is the the commune, um, and other places, you know. So very very friendly, and uh, I, I of course she will not see because I forgot to give to take her contact or or, or something. But uh, I really thank her and uh, I thank God for for uh, for giving me uh, this woman that helped me. So that's it, guys. Uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. I don't know. So thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for being so long. Maybe it was worth, maybe with this long uh, uh, talk you maybe understood the message, the main message, in my opinion, guys. The, when I saw this community, guys, they are unbeatable. Unbeatable because they are very strong. They didn't have this fear of the virus, for example. And so it was very, 
very, very, very good to stay there and people very friendly and humane. So that's it. These are the things that I'm sharing because I think they are worth sharing. So see you tomorrow.